Hi, I'm Jeff DeGroote. This is my windshield survey reflection video. My community health site is Colfax Community Network, which is located about a mile to the west of UCH. The organization provides after-school resources to about 24 children four days a week and drop-in services for housing, food, transportation, and employment twice a week. Because of its proximity to UCH, Children's and the VA Hospital, the community is near a high concentration of quality health care resources. It benefits from the investment and development in the surrounding community. There are numerous parks within half a mile of Colfax Community Network. The area has good infrastructure with well-maintained roads and sidewalks. Uh, there are a good number of options for public transportation, including bus routes and light rail nearby. There are some challenges in the community though, as well. There are many fast food restaurants and chains right along Colfax Avenue. Several ethnic based grocery stores nearby, but no large chain grocery stores within a mile of the center. That might indicate a challenge in access to consistent food sources uh, for some families who may not uh, be used to shopping at some of those ethnic food places. Um, it may be harder for them to get to the, some of the bigger stores like King Supers or Safeway. Um, bus stops are not covered or protected from the weather. I see uh, in driving through on cold days some people trying to shelter near underpasses and things like that. They may be less inclined to take transportation um, when the weather is poor. Uh, side roads and sidewalks are not really cleared quickly um, like the main roads are and that could provide some hazards for people who primarily travel on foot, who walk to the bus stop, or kids who, who walk to school, or the elderly. Uh, the area has dramatically changed from the time it was, um, from the time that Fitzsimmons was an Army medical base to its current proximity um, as a hub of modern healthcare. Substantial development along Colfax Avenue in the last two decades has given the area an image of prosperity and modernization, but two blocks on either side of that development reveals issues of crime, poverty, and community stagnation, which can be seen in a handful of decrepit properties, some homelessness, and vacant businesses. Um, but I, that seems to be rapidly diminishing um, as the area continues to undergo development. Um, my dad used to work in that area in the 1990s, early to mid 90s. Um, during that time, it was it was a, a little rougher than it is now. Um, the area near the hospital has grown and changed a lot for the better, benefiting from the health system nearby. At the same time, I think development has obscured and pushed some of the indicators of poverty farther away from the area. And that's been a little unexpected to me is to see how much that area has changed, but going outside the campus, say to the east side, um, all, all those things that we used to see along Colfax are, are kind of pushed to the fringes of this developed area now. It's difficult to see the challenges in their proper context from walking or driving through the area. Um, our clinical group has had the chance to work with some of this population now. Um, we can start to see how the challenges in a community cumulatively affect its residents. For example, unemployment places a strain on family resources. Education becomes a distant priority for some families. I've seen how some kids struggle with age-appropriate subjects, which will in turn affect their ability to be successful in the future. Some of these kids are living in a vehicle relying on propane heat to stay warm. These early determinants will affect their ability to find employment and provide for the health of their families and themselves. These are sometimes invisible, sometimes subtle differences that you can't see by walking or driving through the community. But you can see it once you start to get to know the population in that area, once you talk to them, once you find out their living situations. And um, that's an important way to be able to understand how a community functions and what its real challenges are.